All right, so in this case, we've got a fourth Taylor polynomial um, for the function sine x. And this is going to be centered at x equals pi. So we're going to use this to estimate sine of 4. And our estimate for sine of 4 is going to be negative uh, the quantity 4 minus pi plus 1 sixth times 4 minus pi cubed. We want to know what an estimate is of uh, the error. So let's set up our little expression here. So we're using a fourth Taylor polynomial. So we've got to look at the, uh, the r sub 5. So it says r sub 5 of x will get, well, we've got to take the sixth derivative of our function, um, evaluate it at z, over 6 factorial. And then we would have x minus c raised to the sixth power. So in this case, we'll again have to figure out an expression for the sixth derivative. Six factorial, we can compute that. Our x value that we're plugging in here is four. So four minus where we're uh, centered it at, which is at pi. So all of that raised to the sixth. So now we want to uh, basically uh, try to maximize this expression. Again, where z is a number so uh, z is a number in between the interval, um, so from 4 to pi. So equivalently from pi to 4. Okay, so that's going to be our little, our little interval under consideration. So f of x is sine x. Well, the first derivative is just cosine x. The second derivative is going to be negative sine x. The third derivative is going to be negative cosine x. And then the fourth derivative, we're going to be back at positive sine x. So let's see, a couple more. So the fifth derivative, again, is going to be cosine x. And the uh, sixth derivative is going to be negative, uh, let's see, so negative sine x. I think we did everything correctly there. All right, so again, we're looking at numbers between pi and 4. So I'm going to think about this function negative sine x for a second. So I'm just going to make a little graph for sine x. So let's see, sine of 0 is 0 at pi, it's back at 0. And then at uh, 3 pi over 2, it's down at negative 1. Well, let's see. Um, 4 is a number between pi and um, 3 pi over 2. So again, pi is 3.14. If we add another uh, half of that, that's roughly 1.5. Uh, so 4 is going to be some number inside of that interval. So again, that's just sine x. If we think about negative sine x, well, negative sine x would still be 0 at pi, but now it would be increasing. So there's just a little chunk of graph for the function um, negative sine x. Well, this is going to be largest at the uh, x-coordinate of 4. So in this case, to make uh, our sixth derivative as large as possible, we're going to plug in um, the x-coordinate of 4. So in this case, our expression is simply going to be, we'll simply be left with, negative sine of 4 over 6 factorial, then 4 minus pi raised to the 6th power. Um, again, when you take the absolute value, the negative is just going to go away, so we would be left with sine of 4. Again, you can always evaluate 6 factorial. I believe that should be uh, 720. Then we're left with 4 minus pi raised to the 6th power. So now we have an, uh, an, an, an estimate for the error involved.